How you doing? Welcome back. <clears throat> started doing, started doing shorter intros. Let's just get right into the game. Uh, we finished everything last video that we could do in a camp. So let's actually no, no. Let's go here to. Here we go. I picked up that sword. So let's equip this sword. Um, Equipment. I want a common sword. Here we go. Swap for the rare sword. So physical attack five. This one has a physical attack of seven. <clears throat> accuracy plus six. When attacking or countering, and accuracy plus two when attacking or countering. So, okay. Accuracy in this game is not um, your chance to hit because you can't miss in this game. The difference between uh, on this game, accuracy is your chance to not be blocked. So if you have a higher accuracy than they do uh, block, then your attack will go through more often. The, I mean, not block guard. Right now he's a guard of two. This has an accuracy of eight on it, so you get the idea like that. He, he more likely would never be able to block himself. Is it? You know that little glitchy thing on y'all in? Anyway, some bag. Our potions. The letters I picked up in the camp. Let's just get rid of all of this. If you all want to read this, just um, let me know down below and I'll come back to it. Trusted friend. He has a double for trusted friend. Hmm. I think it is doing that little glitchy thing for you all. But anyway, let's keep going. Let's leave camp. We can see what's next. Include activities, yes. There's a the thumbnail. Stillian. Hey, big guy. Something troubling you? When you're around, always. Try not to think so hard. It doesn't agree with you. How about you? You doing all right? I don't think any of us are. Times like these, all you can do is put on a brave face. Hey, what about that inquisitor lady, Michelle or Marcy or whoever? Marcelle. Come on, you can at least learn her name. This must be hard for her, too. She went from a respected official to a fugitive in the span of a heartbeat. That's gotta be rough. You think we can trust her? Who knows? This place got too many characters. How are a couple of country bumpkins supposed to keep it all straight? At the moment, I'm less worried about Marshall and more concerned about this General Isoro guy. Why, we got beef with him? Not that I know of. Just not excited for one more problem to keep an eye on. Well, good thing you've got six. I expect we'll frantically figure things out along the way, same as we always do. Sounds about right. Guess we'll worry when we get there. I, I know this isn't the first time we've left Lynetta, but... This time seems different. I just got this feeling like we're never going back. Sheesh, what's gotten into you? You're making me depressed. Chin up, brother. Just think of it as our greatest adventure yet. The hell? There's... There's a monster! A monster ahead!
What is wolves? Well, no, he said a monster. By selecting formation, you can choose which units to deploy in this battle and where to position them. Units with a lock icon are mandatory. I mean, I only have eight people, so, and they're all out here. So, yeah. Uh, explore. What, what are we looking at? What are we looking at? Zoom out. What the hell is this? A hellhound? And it's a couple of them? 62 health. 53 health. Oh, it's a couple, couple of them. 46 health. 48 health. Okay. Okay, cool. So I don't think I don't think I can fight these ones yet. They're across the water. These ones I can fight though. They're right in front of us. Oh, is this our camp? We're fighting our camp. Is that what that is? That's cute. That's cute. Um, yeah, okay. I don't know if they could go across that water or not. It's like it's trees in the way too, so. Yeah, I, I probably don't have to worry about them yet. But damn. Like, we're big compared to the camp, but they're humongous compared to us. How are we supposed to? Okay. Let, let's get going. Whew. Um... Yeah, I was I was thinking about like putting the swords in the front, but it doesn't really matter. Hellhounds, they must have been tracking our scent. Damn it, we should have been prepared for this. We're losing our touch. Speak for yourself. I laid down some traps near the stream. It won't stop them, but it should slow them down. <laughs> I knew there was a reason I keep you around. All right, gang, you know the drill. Let's go hunting. Okay. We need to target their vulnerable points with the right kind of weapon if we want to take them down. Oh, what's this? Large monsters have weak points. When attacked with the right weapon, they will take extra damage and be unable to counterattack. Chaining such attacks multiple times will do even more damage but the chain resets at the end of each turn. Weak points rotate depending on the direction a monster is facing, and the required weapon type changes at the start of your turn. Attacking a weak point twice will destroy it. The attack that destroys a monster's final weak point will always be a critical hit. Okay. If I attack it twice, it destroys it. Attacking a weak point twice will destroy it. An attack that destroys... The weak point will always be a critical hit. Okay. I was just thinking that. I was wondering, like, how do I know what their weak point is? But that explained it. Okay, so I need to hit one magic on this side. I axe on that side. Magic and an archer. Okay, so magic. Acknowledged. They said it changes every turn, though. Let me grab him. Oh, they go far. Ooh, okay. Let's bring our magic over here. Whether words or swords, I miss nothing. Wait, my archer. Tomorrow's a new day. In my axe over You got here. it, Cap. He's already here, so. I'll and see magic. you through. There's no way I can hit the axe twice. I can't hit any of them. I can hit the magic one twice, maybe. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should focus. I already moved them now. Sure thing, Cap. Let's move. People move who run up. their mouths die first. Actually, no. I can switch everybody to archers now that I think about it. You so, got yeah, it. so I could actually hit the archer twice too. All right. Um, is right. everybody in it? Oh. Come forward. C 
Success! We trapped it! Nice work! This is a good time to attack the monsters on the west! When a unit fights with allies nearby, their bonds activate. Each adjacent ally boosts attack by plus one. If a unit has deeper rapport, an additional bond effect will apply. These effects do not apply when counterattacking. Okay. I don't have any rapport though. I need to attack with a sword. It's a shame spilling blood on such a nice on day. This side. No counterattack. Has one chain. Remember what I said. Focus on the vulnerable points. Don't mm -hmm. forget to swap your weapon if you have to. Yeah. The stronger the heart, the sharper the blade. He only has a bow or a second weapon, though. For her. I will bring bow. justice to this land. Magic light arrow. can't hit it with another sword, so I can hit this guy with two art. No, I can't actually. Yeah. I can All right. I know I can't. A lady can't. Michelle. Oh, that's crap. No problem. There you go. Swap. Yep. Sword back there. Fine. Um, I need to just put them somewhere I can hit them. Think deeply. Act quickly. I don't do that much damage, but it's still damage. Oh, he's gonna ah. That's not bad. If you say so. No matter how careful you are, all it takes is one mistake. He'll die next turn. Acknowledged. Hit him with some magic. Not bad. Twenty nine. Oh, nice guard. Oh, no. Looks like somebody rang the dinner bell. Don't panic. We can do this. Just stay calm and take them out one at a time. Okay, this one is Faith dead. will never betray me. <laughs> Axen. Light burns Her. the brightest in the dark. The axe up. Wait, huh. in the axe up. Should have been more careful. Uh, I need magic and a sword. Francisco the Bold has arrived! Swap. Attack. Yeah!
The destination doesn't matter. It's the people you're with. Nice. Magic and bow. Understood. Fine. Take her over so I can bow. If your blood runs hot, keep your head cool. Oh, nice. <laughs> I guess they're not trapped no more. The trap broke. They're headed this way. Keep calm and stay focused. We've got this. Loud and clear. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Woo. I'm gonna say. Like, you're not doing no damage. I don't have any more axes, so um hmm. let's move her back. A solid plan. Attack. Light arrow, just gonna make him turn. He guarded it. Let's put him Luck in the is way. on my side. I can handle that. In the way. People who run their mouths She's die first. Now. Go here and attack them. Well, she's protected now. And with him. Tomorrow's a new day. Hmm. I'm going to attack him. That's not good. The both of them will probably come attack him out. And yeah. gotta leave him here. Um. I may not be smart, but I know how to hurt. Well, attack. Here it goes. Hmm. I feel like he gonna die. Well, he got 12 HP though. He should be fine. Oh, he has an ax. Hmm. He needs to be over here. Hmm. Hmm. One more turn over there should be. They should be dead though. What? As you command. One, two, three, four. He didn't spin when I hit him just now. I just noticed that. He didn't spin like he was supposed to. Spin. Still didn't spin. Come in. Oh, son of a <laughs> dead now. <laughs> Was this some? Made it all the way over there, bro. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, out of sight, but not out of mind. Okay, let's just attack from here then. Thing. No matter how careful you are, hard. all it takes is one mistake. The sword on the it's other up to side. Me. I get a sword over there. The stronger the heart, the sharper the blade. When I attack him, he's not going to move. Let's get it done. There's an arrow. <laughs> As he didn't turn. Let's roll. He can't get uh, over there. Where are we going again? You can do this. You can do this. Coming right up. But he has a sword. But he doesn't. Don't fight smarter. Fight harder. Huh. When your heart starts racing, slow down and take a moment. It turns him to face that way. Sword goes right there. Can she get over there with the sword? As long as Sarah's safe, yeah, this whole world can rot. You got so it! So let's swap attack. Hmm. Why is he turning, but the other ones don't turn? That's crappy. Sword. If your blood runs hot, keep your head. Go ahead. Open your mouth. I'll put an arrow in it. Oh, what? Why is the bow going all the way over there now? Sure thing, Cap. Okay, I can still hit it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Think deeply. Act quickly. I could have shot it with him. Tomorrow's a new day. This attack. <laughs> and next time you need to heal. He needs to move over here. Understood. Attack that one. He needs to move over there too for the axe. Bow and sword. Um, I need to heal him. Right? Damn it. She might die. Understood. I put her here. Can she still heal? Cannot. I put her here. It's a shame, a spilling attack. blood on such a nice day. Yeah, yeah, matter of fact, I'm gonna still attack him. That way he'll be weaker. Yeah. Let's go. Right. All right, he's dead next turn. All right, perfect. Here we he go. Kills him. Oh, he's not even gonna kill him. Yeah. He spins. You got Hacks it, Cap. Kills him.
Axe is already on this side, which is good. Not Let's everyone her can be back, forgiven. So she's not getting hit. Magic. Heal. Can't heal myself. Okay. Inventory. Okay, I need to move. Whether words or swords, I miss nothing. Move him over. Hmm. Move Here him goes. over. He's gonna walk through the fire. I think he is. Need him to get all the way over there. No, 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 no. He doesn't have an axe anymore now. Okay, let's just wait then. Just... But, ah, uh, no, that's not what I want you to do. That was a nice person. This is... Um... Well, there we go. The destination doesn't matter. It's the people you're with. Okay, move them out of range. Coming right up. I can handle that. He's going to get attacked, maybe. If you say so. What you got now? Oh, counterattack? Wait. Oh. What do you got now? Axe and sword. Okay. Faith will never be trained. The sword here. The axe goes on that side. Robin's all over there with all the right. axe. Move him over. <laughs> Should have been more careful. There. It's a shame spilling blood on such a nice day. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't have did that. Undo. I should have attacked. Go ahead. Her. Open your mouth. I'll put an arrow in it. Now what's happening? It's up to you? me. Acknowledged. Back him up. Attack. Oh, wait, no. He's going to die now. He did 10 damage to him, didn't he? I got to stop fucking up like that. Um, loud and clear. Move him down. Oh, he doesn't have. Okay. Light burns the brightest in the dark. Magic heal. As you command. Start going back this way. Wait, that may bring him away, though. Keep him here for now. He has a sword and... Don't Let's... fight smarter. Fight harder. Bring him over here. No sweat. Son of a bitch. Nice guard. Hmm. 
Magic Understood. and a sword. Luck is on my side. He's at an archer and a sword. Francisco the Bold has arrived! Let's roll. Um, where are we going again? Hmm. The destination doesn't matter. It's the people you're with. Hopefully he doesn't one-shot him. It's six when your heart starts right. racing, slow down and take a moment. For Lady Marcel. People who run their mouths die first. You got it, Cap. All right. Archer on that side. Think deeply. Act quickly. Here it goes. He needs to heal. I may not be smart, but I know how to hurt. You can do this. You can do this. Back him up. Whether words or swords, I miss nothing. Oh, damn. Ooh. 30 damage? That was a close call. <sighs> Let's take stock. Hopefully they didn't damage things too much. Lucky Earring. Have to see what that does. And 400 gold. Oh, you know what? I never checked to see what those skills were they learned at the end of last um last mission. I need more information on Hellhounds. I should talk to Leon. Unlocking classes. Unlock new classes by meeting their master requirements. Newly unlocked classes will be highlighted upon entering camp. If a character earns a new class, they'll be highlighted at the appointed appointment ceremony. You can also change characters' classes outside the appointment ceremony via the camp menu. Hmm. They unlock the squire, fighter. Fighter, Squire. Mage, Mage, Fighter. Huh?
Frenzy Strike. Filthy Stamina. Increases health by plus six. Equal to 10% of the amount this unit has lost. Okay. So what is the stat bonus that she get? So she has one extra health, three extra strength, two agility, one dexterity, one luck, and one extra movement. Okay. Confirm. Mage. There's two magic. One agility, one health. Record a spell count. Ooh, we can get another spell now. Okay. Same thing. Well, her mage looks better than than his. Fighter. Ooh, squire. Dexterity. What does dexterity do? Can I not look at that? Increase guard accuracy, accuracy and critical defense. But dexterity is accuracy and guard. Okay, cool. Fighter. Squire. And I'm a squire. New spells. Um, equip Grimoires to cast spells in battle. You can record additional spells in the Grimoire so long as it has enough space. There are three types of Grimoires, Elemental, Dark, and Light. Grimoires can only record spells to correspond to their type. So she's a Light Grimoire. So she has Healing Touch, Light Arrow, and now she has... Oh, damn. Okay, this is the one she just learned from that last one, but there's a bunch of other stuff in here. Use the power of light to heal an ally. This is an attack skill. Divine Hand. Protects an ally with an aura of light, decreasing magic damage. Okay, so we're going to get some magic person. He gives them magic defense. Unleash a radiant burst, inflicting light damage on a single enemy. I'll use this three times. Light arrow I could use five times. I need three light mastery. Encompasses one ally and an aura of light, greatly healing them. Three times. So this is a really stronger healing spell. The, this healing touch is fine though. No one's really hitting me harder than what she can heal with this. And I can use it six times. I'm gonna use this three, so. Uh, purification. Channels the power of light to cleanse all status effects on a single ally. Granting plus 10 health for each effect removed. Huh. Okay, so. I think I'm going to just get Holy Nova. It's slightly stronger. Or maybe I do this. Hmm. Spell cannot be recorded. Need an elemental, elemental, dark, dark. Oh, so I could multi class her. Like, if I changed her over to something that requires her to learn elemental or something like that, then I'll be able to start getting like elemental spells as well as light spells. Kind of cool. Uh, I guess I'm gonna just give her Holy Nova though, so she can attack. Although, yeah, I'm gonna just give her Holy Nova. It has more range too. This only has a range of two. Holy Nova has a range of three. Oh. 
Okay. Fireball, Tempest Gust, and the one he just learned. It's Hydro Bomb. Fireball is two, Tempest Gust is three, Pillar of Fire. Raise a column of flame, inflicting fire damage on a single enemy. Power of three. Hmm. I'll use it three times still. Thunderbolt power two. Thunderbolt a bolt of energy inflicting lightning damage on a single enemy. See, Tempest Gust, the only reason to use this is because it has a further range. Um, but it's weak. So I think I'm going to get rid of it. Oh no. Sends forth an explosive aquatic burst inflicting water damage on a single enemy. This also make the ground wet. Like this sets grass on fire. And I could Thunderbolt that wet ground. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna get Thunderbolt just regardless because we come across a lot of water. Um, I'm gonna change this Tempest Gust. Sends forth a glacial wind, inflicting ice damage on a single enemy. And I'm gonna get this too for the same reason, because of the water. I could freeze them. And I'm gonna change fireball to pillar of fire. I only got, it's only three, but it's a power of three. So I'm gonna use it three times and it's three. I can use from three spaces away. But I can also do both of these at five times each. So even if I run out of this, I still have the other ones I can do. I don't have any way to set to, to make water though. I mean, it really depended on the water being on the ground. But I mean, even without the water, they still have a power of two. So, I mean, they're still pretty strong. Allies, enemies, and the ground. Maybe I should get that, that um, the water one. I only have power of one, though. Man, I'm going to just leave it like this. I'll, I'll leave it like this and see what happens. Uh, I did get this. Increase the luck by five. Ask Francisco about the situation. Hellhounds. Who has, who is luck? Somebody, one of their classes gave them luck. Luck isn't down here, is it? Oh, it's just what's right there. Um, Where is it? Here is right here. Luck five. I need to. Here we go. Increase guard, critical hit, and critical defense. So it increases their chance to block, the chance to crit hit, chance to crit defense. Okay. So increase their chance to guard. Luck is a one, zero, zero, one. So the fighters got one. Mages have two. Squires have none. The squires the ones should have it, so they could guard. But they have it, so they could crit hit. The fighters. Let's give her the earrings.
Or should I give it to, uh, to a mage to make a crit hit? Hmm. Hard to say. I'm gonna give it to her though because she also has a shield, so. She could crit hit, uh, increase her chance to crit hit, how much damage it does, and her chance to guard with her shield, so. Give it to her. That offhand is supposed to be a shield right there in the picture. Hey, right there, okay. Wait, what? Oh, okay, I get it, I get it. That's a secondary offhand, okay. How do I equip skills? Here we go. Equip skills. Available skills. Character skills. I help the low 50. He has plus four physical attack. Raid tactics. Oh shit. That's what I was trying to do. Frenzy strike. And the item skills, okay. X30 plus three, agility plus three, and luck plus four. Nice. But crit is already higher because of that. Guard is already higher because of the luck and the dexterity. Agility, I'm not sure what that does. Health plus six. Agility. Oh, stop. Man. Actually, crit hit and critical defense. This is accuracy crit. This is guard and crit. Is guard, accuracy, and crit. This is just all defense. Oh, well, accuracy is attack, though. Critical defense. For the chance to avoid being crit. Anything with that. Anything with this. Okay. I guess the one that's in the front is the one that does the most, too. So I guess this improves accuracy more than critical hit and crit defense. This improves guard more, improves guard more. Okay. I'm guessing I already have. It won't let me equip anything else. I'm guessing this stuff is just naturally automatically equipped because the Frenzy Strike comes with the class. So this comes from her equipment, the uh, stuff she has on. Um, this is just her skill naturally. Yeah, okay, yep, yep. It's already equipped already. Frenzy Strike. Mm. These are also class skills, but they're red. And if I remember correctly, red skills um, transfer over between all classes. So even if I was to change her later back to a commoner so that I could get her some uh, mastery and something else because right now her mastery her mastery uh, let her go into fighter because she uses a sword the light armor and the shield and I think that's what fighter needed fighter needs yeah the fighter needs uh, leather armor. She has a sword, so she needs a sword and leather armor in order to go into fighter. Um, if she wanted to squire, then I would have to put her on player armor. 
and with a maid should have had cloth armor on and been using a grimoire. So I could take her back to commoner because commoner can can hold all weapons. Um, and then I could change her over to something else. Although I want to say, yeah, they both have gutsy stamina anyway. But for instance, like this prudent strike, once I max out fighter, she'll learn prudent strike. Um, this right here. And then I could take her back to commoner, start using plate armor to get her plate armor up to two, and then switch her to squire if I wanted to. But then she'll be a squire that has plus 10 to her guard when someone's attacking her back, which is pretty nice, actually. Uh, and then max out squire, and she'll also have tactical link, like that type of thing. Even this is nice for the other classes. Physical and magic attack plus five when delivering a counterattack. Because like for the mages, you don't really want them to be in a situation where they're being attacked back. So for them to have more attack when they're counterattacking is, you probably never used this. But as a fighter, they'll definitely use this because they're right in front of people all the time. Same thing with the squire. So it, it, it would be pretty nice to Get a squire, put them back up here, let them um, let them use a grimoire and some cloth armor for a couple of missions so they can get up to three and two. Um, so they can get into mage and then just run mage for a while until they learn retaliation and then put them back. So they can upgrade to what they need to hear, plate armor for um, and then six and the other ones. This is light magic six, elemental magic six, or dark magic. I'm gonna need to get a dark magic tome for that though. I don't have a dark magic tome. All right, so I switched to everybody's class. Um, how did I bring up the? Here we go. Andrea, I can talk to Open Legend. How'd I do that? Boom. No report dialogues? Oh, I got a shop now. This is a bunch of talking. Okay. Where am I at? I think I'm. That's a good question. Where am I at? I'm sitting right in front of him. Okay, there I am, the white circle. Side quest. Let's see about this side quest. Hey. Fighting hellhounds. That was a pretty hectic fight. Seriously, for as many times as we fought hellhounds, that was by far the scariest. I don't know the first time was pretty terrifying. Guys, I almost forgotten about that. I'll bet it was your fault. <coughs> We never would have been anywhere near that barn if not for your stupid night patrols. Hey, the Lanetta Town Watch Club was a respected pillar of the community. <laughs> More like a bunch of dumb kids in dented helmets. I'll never forget that horse screaming. I think the guys we managed to get it out. Uh, you did, you mean? No. All I did was open the stables and run. You're the one who barred the door and set the fire. I was just following your lead. If you hadn't been there, I would have charged in and got myself killed. <laughs> Guess I have to stick around then. Somebody's got to do your thinking for you. Uh, well. No argument there. <laughs> hey. Hey, Leon. What do you know about how monsters think? All I know is how to kill them. To be honest, I've never given it more thought than that. Maybe Robert would know more about it? Good thinking. I'll go talk to him. Okay. Oh, bear. Yeah? Say, Robert, do you happen to know anything about hellhounds? Hellhounds? Yeah. 
If we knew more about how they think, it might be easier to run them off in the future. Hmm, let me think. There was a book about monsters I brought with me from Lanetta. It's been a while since I read it, but you're welcome to take a look for yourself. Now if I could just remember where I put it, it should be around here somewhere. I'll help you look. Fine by me. So I gotta find his book. Search for the book Robert mentioned. Hi there. Oh, thanks. Hi there. Nothing, right? Yeah. Hey, it went away though. Yeah. Hi there. Especially so soon after leaving home. Ah. I don't let it worry you. We've done everything we can to make sure it won't happen again. What's done is done. All we can do is move forward. Can do. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay. I find this book. Welcome back. Well, now here's a new face. Ah, it's a pleasure to meet you, sir. You can call me Porter. Porter, huh? So what's all this you got here? Ah, straight straight to business. Here's a man who knows what he's after. Ah, oh, that's okay. I was just curious. Come on now, don't be shy. This stuff came from all over Benario. Or it's got something for everyone. What's the merchant doing all the way out here? Aren't you worried about monsters? Hey, you know what they say. Everybody's got to eat. Adam's worth risking your life for? And say I'm not curious. You can buy and sell goods at merchant stands. Each time they visit, merchants will have new wares to offer. Maybe get a visit from Salma, the rare goods merchant. Welcome back. Let's see what you well how's business? Hi there. Traveling merchant requires only three things. People with coin, things they need in the right location. People have many to visit with mercenaries, hunters, and soldiers. And they always know exactly what things they lack. And then all that's left is location. Don't mind telling you the monsters helped out with that one. I just followed their tracks to your camp. Hmm. You try to eat us and you sell us bandages. Smart. <laughs> Welcome back. They tried to eat us. One way of looking at it. Poison pouch can be thrown in battle to unleash miasma on target. Incendiary bottle. Strength elixirs, magic elixirs. Okay. Oh, you sell his items. All right. How many of these do I have, actually? One, two, three, four, five. Um, a little people have two each. He has one left. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They only seven of us have potions, because Witch God didn't have any. Um, we have some left over, though, so. Go ahead and buy these two. And how do I buy trade? Okay. Physical attack plus five for two turns. Not bad. Three by three area. It's good too, but I'm, I'm not gonna bother. Many thanks. Hellhounds, dogs of war. Hmm. They've raised from birth where there is any truth to these notions, but it's certainly true that many enterprise individuals have died trying. Run packs all over Artemisia. Needs to spread quickly close closest distance. Toxic blood. When encountering hellhounds in the wild, travelers are advised to never show the creature their back. Unreliable way to deal with them is head on. Hmm. Well, that didn't help us more. Prep time, sunset to evening bell. Service five, and nobody goes for seconds. Dump packs of turmoil and shank. I go. Two packs of lemon tea. Hmm. Yeah, 
Yeah, Sarah's Liz. She got, a, she got an outfit on. Yeah. Hi there. How are you and Sarah doing after that attack? We'll live. Anything you need from me? Yeah, better food. Seriously. <laughs> you asked, I answered. This stuff we're serving now tastes like crap. Hmm. The doing his best. Things will get better when we get to Castilian. <sighs> In the meantime, if you don't like the food, you're welcome to grab a ladle and help. No way. Screw you. I am I keeping that fight? So did he. We all did. Exactly. I'm like Robert, <laughs> exactly. You don't want to cook, you talking about you earned your keep. You don't remember Robert out there with us? He earned his keep too, but he's still cooking. So shut up. Hello. I can't thank you enough. You always want to complain, but they don't want to help make shit better. I'm that shit down. Uh, uh, I'll talk to you in a minute. How do some more people to talk to? Talk to everybody that fast? Alright, well, I guess, yeah, just going to Robert then. Camp activities. Alright. You gonna open up the camp for us? How's it going? What's the extent of the damage on our end? Not bad. Lucky for you, I was here. Yeah, alright. Finish up and get some sleep, Francisco. You can brag all you like tomorrow morning. Seriously, though, it's a good thing everyone was awake. You might not get so lucky next time, Cap. We ought to think about preparing better. All right, I hear you. I'm going to go check in with Leon. Ask him about what I said. Oh, and ask if he saw my moves out there. Sure thing. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> Francisco thinks we got lucky this time. What do you think? Francisco said that? I mean, he's not wrong, but that's surprising coming from him. Well, he did spend a few minutes bragging first. Ah, sounds about right. In any case, we'll need to find a solution. <laughs> hmm. All right, let's do this. Double the number of guards, and have the remaining soldiers set up traps and barricades. All night long? We can't ask regular folk to do it. Right. I'll get on it straight away. I'm counting on you. Now how do I... Talk to Marshall? How do I, um... I need to equip potions to people. Where is equip? There we go. Supplies, there we go. Boom. There we go. All right, Marshall. Everybody got their potions on. Another book. Bonnet, Bonnet a report. Green measures, all this, uh, what you call it, summer present situation. Fugitives en route to rebel camp under mercenary captain Eden. Lowborn, no surname. Leadership abilities unclear. Seems immature. Likewise for his allies, yet cannot argue with their results. Conclusion, continue observation, attempt to cultivate relationships. Village uprising ensued. Laura was taken captive and executed by a young woman, Sarah, causing new complications. Exercise poor restraint in expressing my anger. 
disgrace Lady Marcel. Conclusion, reflect and seek appropriate means of apology. Uh, future outlook, grim. Imperial armor remains insurmountable. Open rebellion doomed. Leader is Soro Finchi, likely another fool like Colin Corax, unless concealing unknown advantage. Conclusion. Gather more information, redouble vigilance for Lady Marshall. You place too much faith in the mercenary. The man all but panicked at the aggressions of a few monsters. I will judge my own company. When are we panic? Of course. Now instead of passing judgment in the absence of information, why don't we focus on obtaining more? Yes, my lady. I am still gathering intelligence on both the Empire and Isoro's rebels. I shall report back soon. I'm counting on you, Lenard. I will not fail you. What is it? I thank you. Yes. What's the situation across Artemisia? How am I even supposed to answer that? Slowly and from the beginning? Since the unification, many have been dissatisfied with the Emperor's rule. But until now, few have taken a stand. Recently, the Emperor has vanished from public view. Wait, really? I thought that was just a rumor. Who can say? In any case, Prime Minister Morin's reign of terror began soon after, and Collins Crows took up arms in protest. Others shared their sentiments and followed suit. That's right. I've heard there are a lot of rebel factions now. Hmm. And each with their own agendas. The Crows are popular with the public. Their recruiting efforts have taken the capital by surprise. So if you were a betting woman, where's the smart money? Given our situation, it would certainly be to our advantage if Colin's forces were to triumph. But it won't be easy for them. No surprises there. Anything else you're curious about? Now that I think about it, Lenard came to Lynetta a while before you did, right? Indeed. That was a favorite tactic of mine as an Inquisitor. Send an agent ahead quietly, get the lay of things, then observe which insects scurry fastest upon your arrival. I can't decide if that's clever or terrifying. I prefer careful. What kind of person is Isoro? He's the leader of a new rebel faction slowly expanding its power within Benario. I don't really know much myself, but the rumors say he's a kind and just man. Let's hope so. We could use some good luck. That's all for now. Thanks. Leonard. What is it? Lenard, Lenard. wasn't it? What do you want? I like to know the people I'm working with. How did you come to serve Marshall? Some time ago, I was framed for a crime and facing death. It was at that moment when Marshall's younger brother came to my aid. It was his wish that I serve and protect Lady Marshall. I see. So, where is Marshall's brother now? You go too far, mercenary. All right, then. Keep your secrets. Hmm. That's room four with Lenar. Talk to Robert. Yeah. Seems like we avoided any major damage. Good thing we prepared. We scraped by, but we can't fight like mercenaries forever. 
Mopping up monsters and facing down trained knights are two completely different things. Fair enough. If we want Isoro to take us in, we'll need to shape up and become proper soldiers. Can't wing a revolution after all. Before we get to Castilian, it might be a good idea to assign everyone some more specific roles. If you find what suits each soldier and assign them that specific job, we'll have fewer messy surprises in battle. Once everyone gets the hang of things, we can expand and assign people specialized roles. That sounds good. Why don't you get everyone together later? Might as well let people know before they get too drunk on victory. Besides, a speech might be good for morale. <laughs> Got it. I'll start making preparations. Great. Thanks. Okay. The speech from the dais. Everyone fought well. Those things took us by surprise, but we won without taking many losses. That's thanks to your efforts. Each of you responded quickly and calmly in the heat of battle. Together, I have no doubt we can face whatever lies ahead. However, before we get to Castilian, I have a few announcements to make. No matter how skilled we are, there's a difference between mercenaries and soldiers. If we join the ranks of Isoro's army, we will be mercenaries no longer. That'll mean changes. We'll need to lose some bad habits and get used to doing things in new ways. Our first task is figuring out what each of our specialties are and what role suits each of us best. We need to determine who's best with each weapon, who belongs in the vanguard, and who brings up the rear. Without further ado, let's start dividing up the rules. New class to unlock Squire. I did that already, though. No spears. Oh, he's a spear guy. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's a good place to stop for today. Enjoy your rest, everyone. You've earned it. Leon, what do you think? Like a night round right out of a fairy tale, ain't it? Sure, boring and full of yourself suits you perfectly. See, that right there is your problem. It's okay to just admit it, you're jealous. Uh, sure, you caught me. I'm dying of envy over here. Hey, I'm a knight now. You better start showing me some respect. Start acting like one and maybe I will. Guess you got me there. All right then, watch and learn. Francisco the Bow is going to be the best knight who ever lived. Oh, time you got rid of those rags. Oh, see, I, yeah, I missed. Okay. I think I messed it up when I did it myself earlier. I think I, it would have been like a ceremony right then where it showed them and then showed the next class they can go to and then I get to switch it. I have to remember next time not to switch their classes before the ceremony. Because I'm guessing it's going to do this for everybody now. We're going to be talking about their new class. Now you just need to bulk up. You sure are scrying a little stick, like you can even hold up armor like that. It's the size of a blacksmith gave me. You think you know better than him? Well, no. I'm just saying, if you're going to be covering me out there, I don't want you, your skinny ass collapsing. Why do I suddenly have the urge to kick your ass? This new job is rubbing off on me already. Congratulations, Leonard. I've been worried your reconnaissance duties were keeping you too busy, but here you are, winning glory on the battlefield. Things are only going to get busier from here. I'm just getting started. 
Just be careful you don't spread yourself too thin. As the saying goes, more haste, less speed. I've never understood that ridiculous idiom. But I shall take your words to heart. Alright, everybody else didn't mean to say nothing. Say nothing. More haste, less speed. Yeah, I get it. A lot of times people be trying to go faster and they end up taking longer than they had just took in their time. It's kind of like that, uh, the other idiom. Um, how does it go? Uh, haste makes waste. Yeah, that's the opposite one. You go on faster and just end up making a mess and then you end up having to go back over and redo what you did anyway, which ends up, now you, it took longer than if you had just took your time to begin with. She just said it backwards, whereas she said uh, more haste, less speed. You end up going faster by going slower. But that's the end. Uh, we finished everything now. So I'm going to end the video here like last video. The next video, we'll start by leaving the camp and continue our journey. So thank you again for sticking with me this long. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video.